gotta go back today. I'm gonna miss this camera, but I'm not gonna miss being responsible for it. If I owned it, it'd be a different story. I'd probably enjoy it a lot more, but I just, yeah, I don't wanna break it. Today, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Sony A1 versus the Sony FX3. Why? Because they're the two best cameras I have in my possession right now, that's why. And I'm sure there's gonna be somebody out there that might be wondering, should I get an FX3 or an A7S III? Or should I just go out and spring for an A1? Or should I get two FX3s or A7S3s? Or should I just get one A1? Because, yeah, $6,500. <laughs> hey, we got an 8K camera with no flip screen versus a cinema. People like to hate on this camera, but I notice a lot more people owning the FX3 as time goes by. People starting to come around to it finally starting to see how wonderful it really is and it's not an exact duplicate of the a7s3 i'm sorry i stand by my word but for comparison sakes yeah you're gonna get the same end image coming out of the a7s3 or the fx3 or the fx6 also right now we're on a sony 14 mm f 1.8 which really it's growing on me it's a great lens unfortunately this has to go back to today so we gotta get this we gotta get this comparison Let's giddy up. So when it comes to vlogging, on the go, running, gunning, any type of setup like that, I would immediately have to give that category to the FX3 just because of the flip screen. The flip screen is so important to me, more important than 8K is, to just constantly be struggling with not being able to see yourself. Oh boy, this is getting bad. Who wants to deal with that? I don't know anybody that wants to deal with that. I'd rather take that over 8K any day of the week. Now, if we're talking about a static shot in a studio, always on a tripod, if that's the type of shooter you are and you're always behind the camera, then we are talking about a different story. But for this vlogging thing right here, the FX3 is definitely the way to go. I can't tell you right now how uncomfortable this experience is right here. Just shooting like this, I can imagine if I had to buy this camera and do this on a daily basis, and vlog without a screen like I used to with the a7 III. And you know what, back then I felt like I didn't have a problem. I was willing to compromise because of how much I enjoyed that camera. But it's like once you once you go flip screen, man, it's hard to, to not have a flip screen. I mean, yeah, I could pretty much judge, especially with a nice wide lens like this, where I'm supposed to be, but still, you just never know. You don't know if your highlights are blowing out. In a situation like this, if we look up at the sky, there is no sun in sight. It's completely overcast, so I don't even know where the sun is coming from. I would have to like pull out an app. There it goes, I just found it as I was saying that. It just popped its little head out. And honestly, if you're gonna be vlogging with this camera at all anyway, you're probably gonna be shooting in 4K, definitely not 8K, because 8K doesn't have active steady shot. Let's flip over to that now. All right, here's the 8K, beautiful 8K that comes out of this camera. The image looks great, especially if you get the opportunity to check it out before it hits YouTube's compression, it's pretty spectacular. But no active steady shot, so if you get a, a walking type shot like this, it's back to the old school Sony image stabilization that has never really been that great. While we're looking at this beautiful B-roll of Vanessa from the Sony A1 with the 14 mil, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. All the music you've been hearing in my videos are from Epidemic's huge library of over 35,000 songs. And if you're not using sound design in your projects, you need to start immediately. 
Luckily, Epidemic did all the work for you, collecting over 90,000 sound effects. If you're a creator like me, Epidemic has you covered with their personal plan to use on all social platforms. And if you do professional work like I do, they have a commercial plan for you. Use the link down below and you'll get a free 30-day trial. I love trials. I always take full advantage of risk-free trials every single time. Always every time thank you epidemic sound for sponsoring today's video and thank you for making my job a hell of a lot easier now if you're just a vlog shh hey all right you guys gotta go now as far as build quality the a1 is pretty typical what you get out of a sony camera but the fx3 is something special in my opinion I like the quarter 20 mounts all over the place. I like the doors on this a lot better than I like the a7S III. I like the flip screen on this better than I like the a7S III. It has a nice little thumb divot over here with a little, little grip. Very easy to open and close the screen and it's not wobbly like the a7S III's is either. And the zoom rocker. The zoom rocker, never, never used clear image zoom so often in my life. I actually probably never really used it at all. Maybe on like the RX 100s or the ZV1s, you kind of have it set to clear image zoom on top of the optical zoom. But on a full frame or APS-C camera, I have yet to really use clear image zoom. But with the FX3, I use it all the time. This rocker is fantastic. Probably one of my top favorite parts of the FX3. Another one of my favorite things about the FX3 is this handle. This is essentially the Sony K3M. It just comes with the FX3, but this is a better version of the K3M because you have two bolts on each side that actually lock it down into the camera. So you could use this as a functioning handle. It's actually built to be like a handle. And this quarter 20 is all over this too. So even though we don't have built-in NDs, even though we don't have DCI 4K, which is just a crop. I hope everybody out there that complains about that understands that. It's just a crop. They're just doing the crop for you. You can just do that yourself. You can just edit the video. It's still cropping your image. You're not getting the full. To me, that was never a good argument as far as this isn't a true cinema camera. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. I love it. Now, when it comes to photography, it's not even, it's not even the slightest. There's no opinion in this matter is what I'm trying to tell you here. It's the A1 all day. The FX3, the A7S3, although they take nice photos, they look good, still a full frame sensor. Most people's smartphones are right around 12 megapixels, but even though it takes good looking images and perfectly, perfectly suitable for social media, if you're only taking photos for social media, then this or the A7S3 will do you just fine. But for any type of real professional photography, it's day one all day, this might be the best could be the best stills camera on the planet right now. Could be. You guys let me know. Anybody that's watching out there, anybody out there own the Sony A1? Do you guys actually own one? Plan on buying it? Are you saving up for it? Do you have an A7S III or an FX3? Drop a comment down below, let me know. Also, don't, don't forget, don't you dare forget, Make sure you head over, link down below to anthonylapani.com and pick you up a Stay Balanced or a Stay Focused t-shirt. Help support the channel, help support positivity. Also, the Patreon is down below as well if you guys wanna check that out. Thank you Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. Thank you to my friends over at Sony for sending over the A1 and the 14mm F1.8. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go get this thing back now, unfortunately. I was gonna steal it, but they have my address.